Thanks, Chairman, and thanks, members, for allowing me to, to, to join this committee. Mr. Watt, nice to exchange with you once again. It's a year since we had our first exchange on this issue. Uh, it was the Health Committee, and I recall the, cha the Chairman of that committee wanting to have my comments withdrawn from the record, uh, and indeed other members to disassociate themselves, Chairman. And it's ironic that a year later, here we are, um, haven't been proven correct in calling it out for what it was. Uh, and I think uh, I said that day, <laughs> you know, that what this was, was the retro-engineering uh, of a position for somebody without government central approval. But I've listened to you and I wasn't going to come down and I'm grateful for the committee to uh, uh, allow me some time. I listened to you earlier totally rubbish the contribution and independent investigations of somebody with a global reputation uh, in governance and simply decide, no, no, I, I, I don't accept that finding. I don't accept that finding. Tony this, Martin that, Tony the other, Martin the next thing. You haven't broken any protocols. So can I ask, what specifically in any of the three acts 24, 50, whatever it is, or 97, endows you with the plenipotentiary authority to unilaterally spend 20 million over a 10-year period. Uh, th th thanks, Apple. No, no money was spent. Uh, no, sorry, I didn't ask you that. Now, you, you, you have a lot of experience. So do I. I asked you a specific question. What section of which act endows you with authority to unilaterally decide on expenditure of 20 million over 10 years? So, so I've already set out, uh, Deputy, uh, the issue of the letter of intent. What no, no, I'm not asking about a letter of intent either. I'm asking, and you know these acts back the front, what section of what act endows plenipotentiary authority on you to invoke the taxpayers' money to the tune of 20 million over 10 years. So, firstly, it wasn't 20 million over what 10 years. What section of so the act, it wasn't please? 20, it wasn't 20 Two million per annum, I understood, Chairman. Yeah, so, let's not get into pedantics. What section of the act? Because I think we're dancing around protocols and my understanding of the act and all of that, and I've heard it for hours now upstairs. So, what I'm asking you is, you, the person that once told me at the Public Accounts Committee, we don't have a gotcha culture in the civil service. Well, clearly, we, do. we don't. And certainly not when the independent report disagrees uh, with the great on high. So, so, so. so the reality is this. It's time that the taxpayer stopped being taken for fools. They're paying you 300,000 a year. And despite the expertise of all these parliamentary party people all day, we want a direct answer. Who? And what authority in what act allowed you to say, yeah, Tony wanted to go, Martin said it was okay, so we'll, 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 yeah, 15 or 20 million, no big deal, his service to the state demanded that he wanted a change. Remember the minister's interview that day? Tony wanted a change, and the taxpayer would step up on Robert Watt say so. So just tell us, for the journalists, for the members, more importantly for the taxpayers at home, what section of what act gave you this unilateral plenipotentiary control over taxpayers' money? Uh, th th thank, thanks, uh, thanks uh, Deputy. So the 96 Public Service Management Act, as you're aware... What section of it, please? Uh, uh, God, I don't know the exact, the exact section of it. Uh, sets out the... It says the Secretary-General, if... A close can and I, very hard-working colleague allowed has question? impressed and done an exceptional amount of public service that we can design a bespoke retirement secondment package for him. So, allow Mr. Watt to answer the question. Th thanks, Chair. So, the, uh, under the 1996 Public Service Management Act, uh, uh, I'm responsible for the administration of the department. Uh, as I set out in, in detail, uh, a secondment arrangement was proposed. 
Uh, by who? By, by the man himself, isn't that by correct? By Dr. Hoolan and Martin yeah. Fraser was involved. So tell me, of the 770 staff that you mentioned earlier, who don't always agree with one another in the Department of Health, how many of them are eligible for similar self-designed guilt edge secondment to retirements following good service to the state? Anybody within the civil service uh, is allowed to go to their manager. Their but how many manager. can do that and say, well, look, I'll tell you what. What do you want to do? Do you want to be a professional footballer? I'll tell you what, go to Shamrock Rovers there. You negotiate them your terms and we'll fund it. Is that how it works? So, is, is that how it works? So, so, so uh, any individual in the government department uh, is allowed to go and seek a, a secondment. We have secondment arrangements in place. Do you say yes to everybody? They're, they're, they're very positive. Uh, you say, I say yes to everybody? Uh, in terms of my experience of heads of department over a few years, I have mostly supported people who wanted to go on some comments, yes. Tell me, I think how much are you managing to funnel to UCD to fund it now? Sorry, sorry Deputy. Well, the, the role that Dr Honan now has in UCD, how much in terms of the research funding uh, is being channelled? I, I don't know anything about, about that. But you, well, I mean, you knew it all about it in Trinity. I mean, is, is there money going now through the department to UCD uh, for this purpose? I, I think, uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask. Well, it's uh, a very important question ask, now. You have to ask uh, University College of I think he's. No, no, I think, I'm asking the Department of Health. I think, I think. I, I mean, think, you're the one that seems to have plenipotentiary status <laughs> to dish out 10 and 15 million when it suits. I'm asking you is there any monies? going to UCD to support the efforts of Dr. Honan so, in that so, position. So I understand that uh, Professor Honan is an adjunct professor in, in UCD, uh, I understand, Chair, which I don't think is a paid position. But I could be, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think it's but, a paid But I, I didn't ask you that either. Are the Department of Health giving UCD any money? Uh, the the uh, Health Research Board... Right, how much uh, are they giving? Uh, so, so the uh, Health Research Board administers 50 million plus of research okay, funding. Okay, so much sure of the 50 million plus, I don't how much did it increase, say, since, so, from a calendar perspective, since the non-progression of the TCD comments? So I'm very happy, Chair, to, to furnish the committee with the details of the, the research Would there be board. additional money since then, would you think? I don't know. You, you don't know? But I but you seem to have taken a very, very hands-on involvement, a very uniquely singular, almost exclusive hands-on involvement in the design of this when it was TCD. It seems incredible at the extreme that you wouldn't have at least some knowledge of what it, what's happening now. No? I've answered the question, Chair, I think. Can I just conclude, um, uh, Chairman, by, by, by saying that I think that, that this whole debacle uh, is unseemly in the extreme. I think it calls, sadly, uh, an excellent uh, and very talented Secretary General's continuance in their position uh, into question. Uh, I think it makes a farce out of an expression on the one hand of tarnished uh, and Ministers for Finance and Public Expenditure confidence in the Secretary General, while we have uh, an independent report authored by somebody of the highest calibre in international <laughs> reputation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think uh, that um, uh, it is just uh, not credible for people to, on one hand, express confidence, either in the Secretary General, to welcome the report and not take action. Uh, and it simply makes a mockery of it. And I think if it was somebody lower down in our public services and certainly in the political world, they'd walk. Thanks. Uh, your comment. Uh,